this video we're going to look at how we can find probabilities of non-standardized data. So this is when you have real life data, so maybe they are x values, and then you have to convert them to your z values because that's what the tables are. The tables are z values which have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So we're going to look at this example now and see how we get, get on with it. So this example says a particular type of circuit has a mean time of 2 years and a standard deviation of 0.5 years. The lifetime follows a normal distribution. Find the probability probability that a circuit will last less than 2.5 years. Your first thing to do here is just to set up what your mean is. So your mean is 2 and your sigma is sigma is equal to 0.5. So we'll set that up first and then we can get started with the questions. So part 1 says find the probability that a circuit will last less than 2.5 years. So we're looking for the probability that x, the real life value, lasts less than 2.5 years. So to do this, uh, first thing you want to do is convert. So we're going to convert using z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So z in this case is my x value, which is 2.5 minus my mu, which is 2, divided by my sigma, which is 0.5. 2.5 minus 2 is just 0 0.5. 0 0.5 divided by 0.5 gives you uh, 1. So you're really looking for in this question, z is less than 1 is what you're looking for. Okay, so we'll just do a diagram and then we'll get started doing that using our tables. So on your diagram, on your diagram, that is just going to do your bell shaped diagram and it's going to look like this. There's your zero, there's your one, and it's less than and it's a shaded bit. So this is perfect because this is exactly the way, the way our tables work. So on your diagram, this, on your tables, go back up and look for your um, one. On your tables and you can see I've already got it marked here uh, Z is equal to 1.00 really so 1.0 and then the first column for the extra zero and it's 0.8413 so go back and put that in as our answer there we are and it is 0.8413 so that's part one done Part 2 asks you to find the probability that a circuit will has a lifetime of more than 1.7 years. So probability x is greater than 1.7. And that's what we're looking for here. So you're looking for x is greater than 1.7. So in this case, you want to convert. So z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So z is equal to 1.7 minus our mu. Just check your mu is 2 divided by 0.5, so that is going to be minus 0.3 divided by minus 0.5, so that is going to be the same as minus 0.6. So what we really want to find in this one is probably that z is greater than minus 0.6, so a wee bit trickier than the last one. Let's have a look at our diagrams this, one, this time. So do your bell shape diagram. Very bad bell shaped diagram there. Do a better one. Do our bell shaped diagram. And mark on your zero. Minus one point minus point six would be here. We want the shaded bit. We want to the right of it, sorry, so shade to the right of it. And you can't do that directly from uh, from your tables. So what we're going to, have to do is redraw this one, but using the symmetrical property that you would have seen in the last video. And then this is going to be fine. This shaded area, they're going to be the same. doesn't look like it from my diagram, but we're really looking for probably z is less than 0.6. So on your table, go up to 0.6. So it's in the first column, and you will find it is 0.7257, and that is it. So there's part one and part two done for you already. Okay, part three asks you to find the probability that a circuit will last less than nine months. So first of all, let's just convert nine months to years. So nine months as a year is 0.75, three quarters of a month. So three quarters of a year, so 0.75 years. So we want to find the probability that X is less than 0.75. So again, convert. So Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. 
Z is equal to 0.75 minus our mu. Just check your mu is 2 and your sigma is 0.5. So that means Z is, is equal to, and that's going to be minus 2.5. Okay, so what we're looking for in this question really is Z is less than minus 2.5. And then we can get cracking with that. So a diagram for it. Bell-shaped diagram. There's your minus 2.5. That's what we're looking for in here. So that's the same as if you mark on your zero. Sorry, if you fire that two point, uh, flip that around using symmetry. So it's the same as in here. So this we shaded area is one minus the probability that Z is less than 2.5. So that's one minus something. We'll find that on our uh, tables. So if you go back up to your tables. Uh, and we're looking for 2.5 on our tables. So 2.5, and it was 2.50, so 2.5 is here. So it's 0.9938. We'll go back down and put that in. So here we are. It was 0.9938. And if we put that in, you will get 0.0062. And that is it. So there's your three answers uh, for that question. So that's us. We now know how to find probabilities using standard Z, opposite, standard Z results. And also, if you were given a real life result, how you convert, convert it uh, to a Z score and then find the corresponding probability.